Picture this. Jenny is admitted to the intensive care unit, ICU, due to a heart problem. Two days in, she feels relaxed and finds herself gazing over a dot of light in the room. Suddenly, the light increases in brightness, and she instantly feels dizzy and nauseous, which is followed by a series of unexplained terror. Jenny screams, I can't go on like this anymore. She eventually opens her eyes to her sister, holding her hands, begging her to remain calm and strong, and suddenly the torture stops. Up to 70% of patients in the ICU experience this agitational state similar to Jenny. This confusional state is defined as delirium. This type of experience is represented in my slide, which was drawn by a patient and shows the feelings of fear and disengagement associated with delirium. The negative outcomes of delirium does not stop at patient distress. Delirium is also associated with longer hospital stays, increased risk of death, and increased risk of mental health problems such as anxiety and depression. Through my discussion with critically ill patients, I identified family presence as an integral value in positive patient experience. Given the benefits of family presence, it is surprising that only 44% of patient families were present in adult ICUs. Since delirium is a major problem in the ICU, my study will evaluate the impact of family presence on both the prevalence and duration of delirium in critically ill patients. This will be possible by observing the electronic medical records of over 15,000 patients in all 17 adult ICUs in Alberta using a patient population bedside recording system. Through this, we can compare the odds of delirium in patients with and without family member presence. I hypothesize that family presence will decrease the prevalence and duration of delirium. But the goal of my proposal does not stop here. It is not enough to keep research findings in a drawer. To promote patient-family-centered care, I will disseminate my results to directly inform stakeholders such as patients, families, healthcare providers, and Alberta Health Services on policy changes to increase the involvement of family members in the ICU. In my research, patients and families are partners, making this study unique, patient-family-centered, and findings will have the potential to improve the health outcomes of thousands of critically ill patients like Jenny across Canada and hopefully the world.